Welcome to all. Today we are discuss about the tobacco mosaic virus. The virus is a sub-microscopic infectious agent. The replicates only inside the living cells of an organisms. Viruses infected all types of life forms. Uh, it is uh, this is this image for uh, presented the types of viruses. It is four different types presented uh, in the world. Number one is helical, polyhedral, polyhedral structure, spherical structure, and complex structure. Helical structure is a good example for tobacco mosaic virus, and polyhedral is a good example for adenovirus and spherical uh, influenza viruses. Last one, complex is a very very good example for bacteriophages. Okay, uh, this topic uh, is presented in content of uh, introduction, structure, function, and symptoms, uh, transmissions, and control of tobacco mosaic virus. First of all, it's a disease. Uh, this is name is tobacco mosaic pathogen. Uh, tobacco, tobacco mosaic disease. It does, that pos uh, the pathogen is named tobacco mosaic virus. Uh, this 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 virus is identified that Dmitry Ivanovsky, a Russian Russian microbiologist. The host, the host plant for this uh, this virus is affected into the tobacco, tobacco, and other solanaceous, solanaceous families. Okay. TM is the most serious pathogen and transmitted by artificial inoculations is not not by insect vectors. And last is it's very most resistant virus. Okay. Uh, it is a structure of uh, structure of uh, TMV tobacco mosaic virus. Uh, first one is a simple rod shaped helical virus. Uh, helical virus. It is central located single standard RNA. And it is outer presented in envelope by a protein coat. Uh, this rod is considered to be 300 nanometer in length and, and about 18 nanometer of diameter. Okay. The protein coat is a technical called capsid or flanklin estimated in 2130 uh, subunits. That subunits name in called cap capsomers. Yeah, 49 uh, capsomers on every three turn on the helical. And about 130 turns per rod of TMB. It is function of the tobacco mosaic virus. It is attached to the cell cell wall and injected its RNA into the host. And another one, another is host cells to produce new viral RNA and protein. The viral RNA and protein assembly into the new viruses and infected uh, infected other cells by passing through small opening. Plasmo, uh, that, that name is plasmodesmata. Uh, then uh, this process allow the viruses to take over metabolism metabolic process without killing cells. Uh, it is it is symptoms of uh, symptoms of TME tobacco mosaic virus. It is dependent on the host plant. And then the mosaic like symptoms uh, in plant. It is colorly like like colorly with a pale, pale pale green color and yellowish color. Uh, that presented in that leaf usually it does not kill the plant but stunt growth um, brittle stems and abnormally small small size and and curled leaves it is etc for the, this uh, symptoms and unripened unripened fruits uh, for uh, for look like this uh, this image is uh, presented in mosaic structure uh, mosaic like symptoms Okay, transmission. How will you transmit it in one plant to another plant? It is infected in many kinds of plants, not just tobacco plants. Uh, first of all, spread through small wood, small woods caused by handling insect or broken uh, leaf hairs. Uh, workers who had become contaminated with the TMV after smoking cigarettes, uh, contaminated seed coat, and the plants germinated from these seeds can be can become infected. Control of TMV. Uh, it is a main role of control of TMV in uh, distance from the tobacco warehouses, uh, free from any tobacco refuse, uh, sterilized by the stem, and taken to avoid contaminating through hand and cultivated implements. Uh, cigarettes and chewing gum, uh, tobacco are all, all sources of prim, uh, prim, primary inoculum. Smoking or chewing of any kinds of tobacco should be avoided. Uh, destroyed burning burning and uh, deceased plants should be removed and burned uh, growing uh, resistance varieties produce uh, good results thank you